Hello and welcome to another edition of Talking Business. I'm Joey Trombley. On the camera is the founding father himself, Calvin Castine. And today our travels have taken us on the 23rd day of May here at North Country Golf Course here between Champlain and Rouses Point on the Hayford Road. And Calvin is focusing in on the 18th green. And we're going to talk a little bit about the course, but more importantly, we're going to talk about the restaurant with Sandy's on the green. It's a... Uh, a famous uh, longtime restaurant in Rouses Point, Sandy's Deli. They've come here this year. They're doing both, burned the candle at both ends, opening up a restaurant here in the golf course here at North Country Golf Club. But with me is the current president of North Country Golf Club, Larry Bayshard. And Larry, thanks for joining us today. Hi, Joey. Thanks for having me today. Well, you know, how long have you been the president for the North Country Golf Course? This is my second year as okay. president. I've been on the board about five years now. So. All right. And I, I heard that last year that the North Country Golf Club had a, a pretty respectable year last year. The course was absolutely uh, fantastic. The weather really helped us out a lot. We had a lot of play. Um, the grounds crew really did a fantastic job. And, and this year, we're actually ahead of that schedule. So as you can see, the weather's finally clearing up for us. But the rain actually kind of helped us a little bit. Sure. And I know, I know our membership was fairly strong last year. Yeah, we've, uh, we've kept the same membership this year, um, about par with last year on the, number, on the numbers for it. But uh, yeah, we're looking forward. There's a few more members that have to join, so we're looking for another success. And we can year. always welcome new members, right? Yes, definitely welcome new members. Okay, and I know North Country is also well known for their uh, pay to play, their dues, not dues, but their green fees. And those are pretty respectable, too. Yeah, uh, Dustin does a really good job here. Uh, we try to stay on par with other areas, mm -hmm. other area golf courses. Uh, and uh, we offer some specials occasionally. Just keep an eye out on our Facebook page for those. Uh, right. We try to have some discounts for um, military personnel and so on and so forth. So. Sure. Sure. And then um, the gr I've, I hear it all the time that they say North Country Greens are probably the best greens in the area as far as local golf courses. That's what I'm hearing anyway. I don't play a lot of the other courses all that much, but everybody says our greens are absolutely fantastic here which is a, a tribute to our greenskeepers yes yes Randy Engtill does a fantastic job yeah. here yes he's, he does he's been here for quite a while yes uh, I'd, more years than I think he cares to mention okay <laughs> so uh, any plans this year for the North Country any parties planned any celebrations coming up uh, last year was our 80th uh, mm -hmm. we had a fairly big celebration then uh, there's nothing in the works for our 81st year other than just our annual party and, and so on and so forth so if somebody wanted to watch in this wants to get around to golf and what number can they call to uh, schedule a round? I just call the uh, golf course. It's 297-2582. Uh, Excellent. Anything else you want to add, Larry, before we go and talk to the ladies in the, in the uh, kitchen? No, no, not at all. Thanks uh, for uh, having us here. Well, Larry, thanks for serving on the North Country Golf Course. It's, uh, I'm on boards. <laughs> it's never an easy thing. And, you know, no, it's not. <laughs> and you got to take care of some tough decisions have to be made, but they have to be made, and we need people to do that. So thank you for uh, serving. Oh, well, thank you so much. All right. Come play. <laughs> okay. And we now have made it inside to Sandy's on the Green. And if you're any kind of a golfer, you know what a Sandy is. But for the non-golfers out there, a Sandy is you're in the sand trap next to the Green. You get out of the sand and you one putt and they call it a Sandy. But we have a different Sandy here inside the restaurant here called Sandy's on the Green. And Carolyn, uh, if you can tell the folks who you are and your history. Because there's quite a history here <laughs> with the food industry with you. There and uh, we got Christine in here too, and you kind of bring Christine into the, the picture, how she got involved, and if you kind of start with that. You got it. Um, my name is Carolyn Reed. I um, moved to Rouse's Point in 1990. Um, I was best friends growing up with Sarah Landry. Her mother's name was Sandy Landry, and she owned Sandy's Deli. Okay. Um, as Sandy decided to get out of the business a little bit, I started working there and going through college and after college. Um, I bought part of the business um, a little bit at a time and eventually ended up as a 50% partner. Um, the partners have changed over the years. Um, my current 50% partner is Christina. And Christina, your last name? Vanier. Okay. Um, so I've been technically at Sandy's Deli since 1990. Wow, 27 um, years. Right? Wow. Exactly, a long time. But over the years, you've expanded. We have. We have. We've expanded the catering line. Um, when I was first there, the other half of the deli was a laundromat. Um, through the years, it's gone through a video store, a private office. Um, now, for us, it's a private small party room. Mm -hmm. um, we book private parties in there. If we have a really full day where the main dining room is full, we certainly can 
<coughs> excuse me, you open that up for mm -hmm. patrons as well. Um, we have a few groups of ladies during the year that um, like to go in there and play bridge. Um, so it's a well-used room. Um, so yeah. Okay, so that was Sandy's, the history of Sandy's Deli. Right. So then some years ago, I'm, I'm hearing that you also run Last Resort. Right, that was um, last year. The Last Resort was available for lease. Um, and we looked into it and decided it would be a nice business venture for us. And that's year round? Yes. As well as Sandy's Deli? Yes. Okay. Um, they're both open seven days a week. Um, the restaurant is open from 9 to 9. The bar is open from 11 to 9 or 2, depending on the day. Now, are you running just the, re so you run the, the bar, you run the whole thing? The bar yes. and the restaurant? Yes. Um, the last resort is mainly a bar. Okay. Um, we do serve a small amount of food. Um, one of the perks of the deli is that if you're at the bar and you would like food from the deli menu, you get free delivery. Okay. Um, and we try and make sure that those patrons are served as quickly as possible. So if you want to go sit out on the back deck and have a pitcher of beer and Sandy's chicken wings, you order your pitcher of beer, wait a few minutes, chicken wings will be delivered promptly. Nice. Right? That's a nice touch. Yeah. Okay. So then all of a sudden, how did this opportunity approach you here? Um, Dustin approached us and asked us, said the restaurant and bar were available this year for lease, asked if we were interested. Um, so we talked it over for a little while and we think it's a great idea. Um, we love the venue. It's going to be fantastic for private parties and events. Um, and we're looking forward to making it more of not just a golf course, but back to a restaurant people want to just go to. You don't need to be a golfer to want to eat here. Oh, so you brought up a very good point. It does, it's not just open to membership. This is open to the public. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And that's what we're, we're looking to do. I know when I first m moved up this way, um, I certainly am not an avid golfer. But um, we would be up here for breakfast, lunch, a f nice Friday night meal. Mother's Day brunch. Uh, oh, exactly. Um, and that's what we would like to bring it back to. We would like to ha um, have it be a destination restaurant, if you will. Just, sure. um, I mean, someplace where you go, gee, I wonder where we should go out to eat tonight. Hey, let's go to the golf course. Sure. Right. Now, this is uh, uh, going to be seasonal here, I'm assuming. Yes. So your times here would be from when to when? Um, we opened this year on May 8th. Um, stay open to? Um, tentatively October 31st. Okay, so the end of October. Yeah. So, Christine, wh where, where did your interest come into the food industry? What's your background? <laughs> <laughs> um, it really just uh, fell upon me. She needed someone to help her uh, run the restaurant. Um, somebody who fresh ideas. Uh, now, had you worked in the food industry before? No, I actually opened businesses, got them set up, and then I moved on to the next venture kind mm -hmm. of a thing. Okay. Um, and then when I was there, Ellen and uh, Laura were looking to branch out, and here okay. we are. Okay. One thing led to another. <laughs> and then here you are. Now, obviously running three establishments now, you've probably had to increase the employment, I'm assuming. Oh, Very for much. sure. Okay, and so do they bounce around between establishments or you got your set workers at Sandy, set workers at the last resort, and then you got your workers here? Um, we've got a core group at each one, and then we have a few that bounce. Okay, and then of course you guys are 50-50 partners. Yes. So I'm, I'm assuming that you guys have probably evolved into what your roles are, even though you probably do everything. You kind of key more into certain areas. Is yes, that fair I, to say? I do everything she tells me to do. <laughs> <laughs> was it a fair question? Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. But you, but you must establish like somebody must have ordered the food. Um, I'm assuming somebody has to make sure the schedules are up for the workers, that kind of stuff. Yes, she's actually much better with staff. I put all the staffing on her. Um, I do all of the paperwork, the book roll, the payroll, mm -hmm. um, the food purchasing. Okay. Um, and then the everyday stuff that falls our way, we just look and see which one of us is free and okay, this phone call's for you, okay, this is for me, okay, yeah, okay. this is for... Now, do you, does that allow you time as you've grown, does that allow you time to actually be behind cooking and serving? We don't have a choice. You, ha you do do that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Oh, absolutely. We are both in the 
hands on. You are hands on. Yep. Okay. Kitchen from open Prep to close. Prep work and uh, that kind of yep. stuff. Yep. Yep. Okay. For sure. So I could call you Chef Carolyn and <laughs> Chef Christine. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. You've earned that title. Well, right? I'd be the sous chef for sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one, but yes. <laughs> So it, now I, I assume each place has their own personality. Yep. Okay. So kind of give me the personality of Sandy's Deli. Um, Sandy's Deli is a family-friendly, casual place. Okay. Um, you're going to get burgers, Michigan's, wings, pizza, subs, and sandwiches. Okay. Um, the catering aspect of it certainly can go fancier. Okay. Um, but the everyday atmosphere is just relaxed, walk in, you place an order at the counter, um, the girls will bring you over your food. You pay before you leave. Just if somebody nice and wanted easy. to get a pizza and some wings, they could also maybe grab a beer if, there, if it's available. Yes, certainly. Okay. We, um, the deli does serve beer. Okay. Yep. And then the personality at the last resort is um, your local bar. Yep. So it's just finger food, bar food types, other than let's say order off the same right. deli menu. Yeah. Right. But you offer on site food too. We do. Yes. It's okay. a tavern menu. Right, okay. So no um, tavern. Okay. Exactly. It's going to be chicken fingers and poppers and mozzarella sticks and onion rings. That and kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. More of the fried stuff. Yep. Okay. And now, of course, this new adventure, and I know you're trying to make this open to everybody and kind of a destination place. What's mm -hmm. going to be the personality of Sandy's on the Green? Um, we kept some of the more popular things from Sandy's Deli and brought them up here. I mean, you're not going to travel up um, here and not serve Putin. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're not going to serve. Um, you're not not going to serve Michigan's. Right. Um, but then we um, we added like a flatbread pizza. Mm -hmm. um, we've dressed up the chicken Caesar salad. Um, we've dressed up some of the sandwiches. They're either served with fries or salad as opposed to chips. Okay. Um, make sure the Reuben is done on the grill. Um, there are dinner specials. Um, so right now, are you doing it? Yeah, for dinner, are you doing anything like whether it's uh, steak? Uh, and uh, what else can you think of for dinner? Uh, chicken. chicken uh, Every day is going to be something different, you know, okay. a, a, a pasta dish, a, okay. a chicken dish, a, a steak, yeah. Okay. Then probably once we get more, the end of the season, a little bit nicer weather, and the word gets out a little bit more, then we'll expand on those. Well, would the menu change? I know you open at 11, which is obviously the lunch crowd, mm -hmm. and then you have the strays coming in from golfing. Yep. But then the dinner crowd will pick up around five or six. Do you have a different menu for the dinner crowd, or is it the same menu all day all day long? Um, it's the same menu, and then there will be a new special. For the special, yeah. okay. Like um, this afternoon, the special is going to be, I have either a spinach and mushroom or spinach and bacon quiche served with either um, fruit salad or a green salad. Um, this evening, the special is going to be spaghetti meatballs, a tossed salad, and garlic bread. Okay. Um, that special starts at 4. At 4. Okay, so that's when your dinner special will start. It's like yep. at 4 o'clock, basically. Yes. Okay. And was there a big transitional change from, like, going to Sandy's Deli to the last resort to here? Or you basically have it down. It's just a different venue. Was it, I guess my question is, was it an easy transition? The one to the last resort wasn't really bad. We had some good staff in place there that we kept. Mm -hmm. um, because I'll be honest, we've never run an actual bar bar before. Okay. Um, and that one, it's been, ye you need to get to know your crowd. Mm -hmm. um, Dan, I think we have done that now. Um, so it's working well for us. And that one, the first month or so was a little stressful. No, but it's, it's not bad. Right, okay. Um, walking into here, the food part of it didn't bother me. But I'll be honest, um, as you said, I've been there for 27 sure. years. So I've tweaked the kitchen there exactly the way I want it. Right. And I could work there probably with my eyes closed. Sure. And all of a sudden I walk into this one and I'm like, oh my goodness, this isn't there and that's not here and what's going to... So um, we did, we took some time and I said, I need a few hours and some guys and we're going to move this from here and this to there. Right. <laughs> well, people don't realize the setup of a kitchen is a big deal. Oh my goodness! When yes. you're back there, I Absolutely. mean, you know, people just come make an order and you think, okay, yeah, we'll get my food, but that's a whole new world back there. Yes. When you're running around trying to make sure the orders there, the food comes out hot, and that everything's in a strategic place. Right. Absolutely. You know, so I can see where that would happen. I mean, there it's like clockwork. It's yeah. just like a glove at Sandy's Deli. Yep, exactly. And all of a sudden, when you're used to grabbing here for something, now you have to walk across the room over there. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. We don't care how big, how pretty the kitchen is. If it's not functional, right, it doesn't do you any good. 
So now you have the kitchen where you need it. Just about. I yeah. think it's, it's you're, getting, you're getting there. there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Every day you kind of move something, tweak something, but for the most part, yeah. Well, and I think for me the big question is, I mean, you're both here. you got three operations going. How do you know where to set, put your time? <laughs> it, it's a tricky schedule, but we seem to make it work, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the bar, um, we have a very good manager, a very good manager, and um, it seems to just run itself, okay. if you will. Um, obviously, we check on it, but for the most part, day in and day out you don't really have too many things that go askew um, okay the deli and and obviously here much different mm -hmm. um so you will always see one of us and one of them okay and in the course of the day is it fair to say that you maybe have shown your face in all three of them absolutely every friday and during saturday the day. <laughs> right <laughs> at yes. some point during the day okay. yes yep all right and i see you got some shirts for sandy's on the green yeah you, you have shirts for uh Last Resort? Absolutely. And of course, Sandy's Deli. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So, 27 years, you're new to the food business? About five years, yeah. About five years. Okay. So, obviously, no regrets. You're growing. No, no, I'm enjoying it. Um, you know, I'm very excited about this. Um, yeah. I think it's a great opportunity. Oh. I mean, this is a beautiful spot. Absolutely. And, and, with, and with your catering, it ties in perfectly for big events it does we're booked right up for you for the catering uh or yes for, for here you mean banquets for tournaments banquets. it's just yep oh, the wow. minute people found out we were here you know the because you have such a beautiful space oh, so it's, it's not right. only do you get great food but now you have room. you have a, a beautiful place to have whatever event you want to have sure so yeah we're getting calls all the time so you found the bookings pick right up yep. yeah okay nice so and it just all ties in together it does it does so obviously the, the events you do so your catering most of that would be the food would be made at sandy's deli we're actually starting to well here it would probably be here yes right yes but but like somebody doesn't have a catering job here they say can you can, we're having a house party can we're having 40 people over I've, you've catered to, to events like that yeah absolutely would that start from sandy's deli or would you take take um, use of the kitchen here so far i'll be honest we're basically running that the way we run our everyday lives we do whichever one works <laughs> oh, right, right. um okay we did it um we catered a party in Plattsburgh last weekend she was down at the deli I was up here she said I'll do this this and this I said I'll do this this and this we had the person delivering it stop there pick up this stop here pick up that and then go and it worked um yes, yep. yeah tomorrow we have a catering job for the Chamber of Commerce in Plattsburgh and a job for UPS in Champlain um, she's going to do the chamber down there and a little bit of my UPS stuff. I'm going to do a majority of the UPS stuff up here. Oh, nice. Um, so it's just going to need to be where staff and kitchen space is available on that day. But it's nice that you have that available to you. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So anything that you want to add that I haven't asked that you think people should know? Well, let me ask you this. What are, okay, your hours are from 11 to... Nine. Um, nine we just started this past weekend doing a breakfast buffet on saturdays and sundays nice so we open at seven on saturdays and yep. sundays so both days yep and that runs from when to when from seven to eleven seven to eleven okay it's uh, on the weekends okay um it's an all-you-can-eat buffet this past week we did um scrambled eggs sausage bacon home fries scalloped potatoes baked beans fruit toast and muffins for 12.95 nice um so we will continue with that yep um and so that's going there okay um anything else that we haven't picked out here for this restaurant can that I you grab well, that sure I'm you most certainly can thinking it's new york state liquor that would be <laughs> okay well christine you're on the camera now because running a business the phone goes off all the time it and does yes off goes carolyn so uh but that's expected right well i told you second so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, and how big of a party can you, uh, somebody wants to rent this place or have an event here, how many How many can you handle at one time? Um, right now in June, we have a party for 200. Wow, okay. Yep, so it'll fill up basically the entire um, back part of the, the golf course. Nice, okay. And if somebody wants to uh, schedule an event with you, how could they reach you? 
Absolutely. They can either call um, the deli. Let's just give the number. 297-6951. Uh, okay. Um, and or up here. I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's 297-2582. There we go. <laughs> and um, that's for the restaurant. That's for the restaurant, yep. And you just ask for Carolyn or myself, and okay. we'll make sure that we we get you in. Okay. We, we never say no, so. Okay. <laughs> there'll be room for everybody everybody always so it's, you aren't book solid yet um we are we are pretty booked um but we always make room we always make it work okay you know and you find it i'm assuming mostly on friday nights saturday sundays are probably the absolutely the days. absolutely Do you see much during monday through thursday at all monday through thursday are a lot of um the actual uh golfers um doing their their, their, actual, their stuff. league stuff yes okay. All right. um so they're gonna have a dinner they're gonna have a lunch they're sure. gonna yep um i know um the bridge groups now come up i want to say monday and wednesday during lunch okay um they always like a different atmosphere sure. in the summertime so there's always something yeah there is you you, are you offering any kind of lunch specials um she offers a special every day okay lunch so, and dinner lunch and dinner okay. yes all right and is that decided a week ahead of time or is that like for the moment no carolyn's a fly by the seat kind of girl so <laughs> <laughs> she comes in she figures it out and away she goes here's our special here's our special and i'm sure a lot of it has to do with what you have for food and what's uh left over from yesterday and, and that kind of stuff putting something together um absolutely you know yeah. um obviously uh fresh is our number one well yeah but um but yeah it's what she has in there right yeah, it's what, what you have on, on stock yep that absolutely okay good um Calvin, anything that you want to ask? No? Well, it's Sandy's on the green. And uh, a great name. I, I, I loved it when I heard it. And actually, I, I think Sandy's on the water would be great for the it's last resort. Absolutely. I mean, now you got this uh, trend this going back. We do. We joke. We tell everyone we're going to see how many places we can put the word Sandy's on. <laughs> <laughs> but I... For the folks, I mean, local folks, you know Sandy's Deli, and, and you know what a great job that they do, but they're taking that expertise and bringing it here to the golf course. And um, if you haven't been to the golf course in recent times, you should come, because it's a beautiful, beautiful facility, and we know it's in great hands with uh, Sandy's Deli, Sandy's on the Green, Last Resort. These guys just do an incredible job, and if you want to, just to check it out, I think if you check it out, you'll find that, especially here, a great seasonal place to come to, and if you're a golfer, plan your day. Go out and do an afternoon golf and plan on having your dinner here or your lunch or when you get done your round. And I'm sure they always have cold beverages available, whether it's alcohol or non-alcohol. They'll definitely take care of your needs there. I also want to make a, an appeal to Hometown Cable. And Calvin's been doing this your 33rd year now, Calvin? It'll be 34 on June 7th. But you're in your 33rd year. I was right. Okay, so it'll be 34 June 7th. But 33 years, Calvin has been going around the North Country and, and doing this, these type of shows. I mean, obviously from sporting events to graduations to 50-year um, parties, 25-year parties, um, uh, attracting businesses like this. And uh, events. Uh, we have uh, the ice storm of 98, which seems like yesterday, and we're going on 20 years, but for the people that lived it, it's still fresh in our minds. Um, and but he captures all this stuff, and you know, over the years, he has chronicled the North Country and truly a library of history of of the north country the people and and what we're about and but it doesn't happen for free and um, if you enjoy this type of programming and you enjoy what calvin has done over the last 33 years going on the 34th year if you could be so compelled to send a donation to 1477 ridge road in champlain new york 12919 Calvin makes his living doing this. Uh, there's no state funding, there's no federal funding, and uh, this is how he makes his living. So he relies on the viewers, and he relies on businesses supporting um, hometown cable. And, uh, you know, people will pay their... Um, bill every month to cable which is fine i do the same thing and a lot of people support pbs and i think is a wonderful cause too but let's not forget hometown cable because you don't see this viewing anywhere else only on hometown cable and he posts it on his website hometowncablenetwork.com and and more and more shows are getting back on there that's correct calvin from the past and you're putting new shows on every day and uh, do you have a paypal account on there now 
So you, you can go and make a PayPal uh, donation there. Some people make a monthly donations. Others do one time a year. Whatever you can do, whatever you feel compelled, whatever your budget will allow, Calvin will appreciate it. All the money does go to Calvin. I do not get paid to do this. I, I love doing this for Calvin. Uh, I love what he's doing. I love. I can. I consider it more of a community service because I'm a local business person, and it's a way for me to give back to the local community too, to expose uh, businesses. And I, you know, Calvin started this talking business. I don't know five years ago or so, and uh, I thought it was a wonderful idea to highlight local businesses. Because a lot of times people don't know, and we've heard this all the time, but geez, I didn't know they were there, or I didn't think of them. And this show exposes that. So we're hoping that for you guys it will expose uh, your business here, and not only here, but the other two establishments. Um, and um, so hopefully you guys can support not only Calvin, but Sandy's on the Green, The Last Resort, or Sandy's Deli. So we could do this, breakfast at Sandy's Deli, lunch at last resort come have dinner on sandy's on the green and what a wonderful day you would have exactly absolutely <laughs> calvin anything else you want to add well this has been another edition of talking business i'm joey trombley on the camera as i said on the start of the show that's the founding father himself calvin castine and this is christine Vanur. vanier vanier yes okay and i just met her today so i apologize for butchering <laughs> your name and thank you for joining us for the segment no problem thank you all right